Hi everybody, it's Laura. Um, today we are going to do something new with new products and a new technique. So this is going to be called a tail feather spin. And I just um, got in the mail yesterday my little piggies from um, fluidart.co. And these are pigments. They're powders in here. And you add them to your pouring medium and they give you awesome colors. Um, that one was watermelon. This one is sockeye. It's like a pretty salmon color. Uh, this one here is sea glass, of course. I had to have some teals. And this one is called tail feather. Beautiful coloring in these things. And I also got my first interference color. So I'm going to show you that. This is called glisten. And as you can see, the interference colors are all like a white. But what they have in them is is um pigments of different colors so this one has some blue and green in it i think and once we put this on it's going to give like an iridescent uh, blue green in there so i am excited to try this for the first time this could end up being a total bust because i have never done this um technique before but again we are going to experiment together so this one is called Lakeside. This is a little piggy. Pretty color. So now, oh, and I got these cute little stir sticks, and it shows you the paint color on there really great. There's some blue and a little bit of green in there I can see. So this is your paint color. You want it to make a mound and disappear in like one or two seconds. That is the consistency of your paint. So now I'm going to try and get this right. We want to go, we want to do, I got to get used to pouring with these. We want to do a scoop like so. We'll get the hang of it. Just be patient. <laughs> it's different than my popsicle sticks I'm used to using. But this slides off of here so nicely. There we go. I got it now. Okay, so that's our first color. I'm just going to scrape. And if you can see on there, look at the color in there. See the green and the blue? These are just gorgeous. I really like them. Okay, so that was Lakeside. Next one is Sterling. It is a silver. So what I'm finding is, is it comes off really quickly in the beginning. So I'm going to put more of that. I'm going to start in the middle and then go out to the ends because we're just going to lose what's on the end anyway. So why do we want it out there? We don't. This is gorgeous. All right, that's the sterling. Next we have this little piggy tail feather. This is a darker, like peacock color. Very pretty. Can you tell what colors I bought? <laughs> Mostly teals and blues. 
but I did get that watermelon and that sockeye. So I was branching out a little bit. I'm the queen of teal. So I don't think, while I love these little spatulas for mixing, I do not like them for putting the paint down. It's thwarting what I wish to do. It's too wide. Yeah, see, it's it's just better with a better with a popsicle stick to put them down. But those little spatulas are great for mixing. They just got the paint mixed up so quickly. Okay. Next color is Glisten. Now this is the interference. And I'm just going to show you. It is white. All the interferences are have a white look to them. But I don't know if you can see that. You could see, hopefully you could see the colors in there. It's, it's like a pearlescent. Just pretty. And what this does is it just brings those pearls up to the up to the top into your your composition here and it gives it a beautiful shimmer and shine first time trying these and i think i'm gonna love them and i think i'll be getting more but we'll see how it goes I will get there eventually. This pigment is called Mermaid. This little piggy mermaid. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. And you know, these are also so much smoother and silkier than just normal paint, acrylic paint. Okay, this one is called Sea Glass. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Something tells me I might want a little bit more of that peacock so that we have more um, contrast. Although there is quite a bit of it in there. We're going to leave it alone. We're going to go with what I originally thought. Okay, so we have our colors down. Now it comes time for our spin. Now I have to kind of now that I have it down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do a swipe. We're gonna start out here. We're gonna come in, spin, and off the edge. So yeah, we have to start this way. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna spin it, and we're gonna come off like that. So, we are going to do a black and a white cell activator. So, I need to get these stirred up. One second. Now I'm going to show you your white, your cell activator. You want it to run off like a, um, like a needle, like the shape of a, just a thin needle. It's much thinner than your colors. Your pillow is the thickest. 
your colors are thinner and your cell activator is the thinnest. And that's how it goes. I keep losing my popsicle sticks. I just moved them off my table here because I didn't think I was going to be using them anymore because I thought I was going to use those spatulas. And now I have none here. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to show you. I'm going to pour. No, I want the black to be on top. So since we're going to turn this over, I have to put the black on first. So I'm going to drizzle some black on here. I'm sorry, but I'm going to take it off from being over the canvas because I don't want to get it on my canvas yet. And then I'm going to put the white on top of it. Okay. See what I got? Now I'm just going to tilt it to get it all over the pencil or the thing. So here we go. Wish me luck. Okay. Well, I think it dug in a little too deep. That was not a perfect spin, but it was my first spin. So let's just go with it and see what happens. We'll see what we can make out of this. Oh yeah, it's coming. Look at it. Oh, pretty. All right, we've got some beautiful cells over here. So let me move these out of the way. That was not a very good swipe, but close enough. Now, I'm going to spin it just a little to make it expand. Okay, now we're going to do our, our stuff. So we're going to take and come down like this. Wipe. Down like that. Wipe. We're going to the same point. Now I'm going to, I'm going to do this. We're going to lose some of this on the edges. And let's make these come down. Just a little. Cut those in half. All right. And let's do... that. Alright, I'm done. Now, we're going to spin it some more. Look at that. All right, 
right, so I definitely needed more color. Definitely. Let's spin it a little more, but it is, it's pretty. So this is definitely an abstract type of thing. Trying to see what we have. I don't like this or that. Some little blob of something there. I also don't like that. That was a little dribble of something. Okay, that's better. So for a first one, not too bad. The colors are just amazing. And I think what happened, definitely what happened was I pressed too hard on the swipe because you could see more white here, but I like it. It's not bad. The colors over here are just awesome. And I'm gonna keep this, it's, I like it. Um, I'm looking for that interference and we won't see that until I pick up the painting and we take a look. I'm going to spin it. I'd kind of like to get some of this off. We're going to try tilting a little bit. Let me get my garbage. I'm going to put my gloves on because this is going to be messy. I kind of like to tilt it some more and get some of this off. The gloves are not cooperating. All right, here we go. And then I'll be able to show you that interference. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like this being tilted. It's all flowing. Okay, I like that. Let's bring it back. And I don't know if you can see the inner, look, watch for the interference. It's going to change colors, okay? It, like, it'll look, oh yeah. I see it. So it looks one color when the painting is tilted one way and another color when it's tilted another. All right, I like this technique. I just wish I had used more paint. Next time we will. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back over here. All right. Gonna take care of my edges where they didn't get anything. Oh, there's only one spot. Good. I like it. And I don't know if you were able to see the I'm gonna I'm gonna find the spots where the interference is doing its thing. But I really like this color combination. Hard to see. We'll have to I'll have to show you on the um when it's dry, what the interference looks like. So that is a tail feather spin. Kind of looks like the tail feather going that way. I love this. Gorgeous. Okay, everybody. Um, let me take you down and show you what 
it looks like up close. So pretty. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. We'll do more of these soon. All right. Thanks, everybody.